So by way of background to what I'm about to present before you, which really, I think this is one of the most remarkable inflection points in modern Jewish history where rabbis, prominent rabbis, including the Sephardic chief rabbi, promote anti-Semitic policies in Israel. I want to explain exactly what I'm talking about. So yesterday, a group of Jews went up to the Harabait, uh, which, by the way, according to Halachai, is 100% allowed, but we will get to that. Maybe I'll give a class on the permissibility of going to the Harabait, which is an obvious and simple Halacha. Put that on the side for now. Let's put the Halacha on the side. So yesterday, Jews went up to Harabait, and they prayed. And this has caused an actual uproar among the anti-Semitic goyim all over the world, BBC, international outrage, you know, the regular European countries, the those anti-Semitic countries who always condemn the Jewish people no matter what we do, we were condemned. Of the remarkable inflection point is that now these Doilim rabbis in Israel, together with the Sephardic chief rabbi, Rabbi Yitzhak Yosef, they also joined the chorus of anti-Semitic Gentiles condemning the Jews for praying in Harabite. And I want to be really clear, because I want you to understand what happened. The rabbis are saying, Jews are not allowed to go to Harabite. This is the desecration of the holy place. And we're outraged, right? Again, joining the anti-Semites. Remarkable inflection point in Jewish history. Um, but here's the thing. Jews have been going up to Harabite for decades. I've been going up to Harabite for decades. The thing is that in the past, when Jews were going up to Harabayit, they were forbidden to pray. They were actually told, police follow us, and they say, you're not allowed to pray. If they catch anybody praying, he's thrown out off the Harabayit. I mean Jews, not Muslims, because Muslims are allowed to pray in Harabayit. If you're a Goy, I don't know, a Christian, you can pray in Harabayit. If you're a Jew, you're not allowed to pray in Harabayit. So this anti-Semitic policy has been in place for decades. And now the new minister of security in Israel has decided to um, annul this anti-Semitic policy. Yesterday, Jews went up to Harabayit and they started praying. And this prayer has outraged the Sephardic chief rabbi, the other Gdolim, the same way it has outraged the BBC, the same way it has outraged many European countries. There's condemnations, all the regular people who condemn the Jews, they've condemned us for praying in our holy site, the Harabite. So, make of it what you will, but really, I have to ask a question. Why do you think the Torah has so many pesukim about the false prophets? A false prophet is a person who seems to be a real prophet, but is really just pretending. Why do you think we have so many stories in the Nevi'im about the Nevi Sheker. Do you think maybe it's because God wanted to prepare us by making us more intelligent and more discerning? And maybe if there's false prophets or false rabbis, we would be able to identify them. Well, maybe one way to identify false prophets or false rabbis is when they join the anti-Semitic attacks against the Jewish people. This is just unbelievable. And I have to say, actually, I'll say one more thing. I think I've, I already said that. I'll say one more thing. The chief rabbi, Harav Yitzchak Yosef, he said in his video, and he's begging the Goyim, please forgive us. We didn't mean anything. Right. The chief, the chief rabbi, the Jewish people, right? Sephardic chief rabbi, right? He said, they don't represent the Jewish people. Yes, the chief rabbi who said that nobody's allowed to serve in the IDF, right? He's the one saying that those people who do serve in the IDF and do work and do study Torah, they don't represent the Jewish people. The Sephardic chief rabbi, who is essentially against the state of Israel, in as much as he said that if the state of Israel forces us to serve in the army, meaning the yeshiva boys, like everybody else, he will leave the state of Israel. We will pack our bags and leave. So he represents the Jewish people, right? But the Jews who went up to Harabite and they dared to pray, they don't represent the Jewish people, right? The chief rabbis and the doilim that join the chorus of Jew hatred, 
they represent the Jewish people.